Live from San Diego, this is the Fox 5 Morning News. Hey, good morning. We are live in the East Village. We are showing off one of the best places to work in the country. It's right here in San Diego. It's called The Honest Kitchen. That's all coming up on Fox 5. You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News. <laughs> Let's check in with Heather Lake now. She is live in the East Village, an office that's actually going to the dogs. <laughs> Where are where are you? Oh, the <laughs> you guys have to check this food. out. Yes, I've been there. Yes. Have you been here before? Yes. This is really, really neat. Uh, so basically what they're doing is they're making a specialty dog and cat food, and we're going to show you all about the food and everything. But I wanted to check out the office space. Um, Lucy, you're the founder, and this is so neat because as you kind of walk around and look, you can see there's almost more dog pens and places for dogs to sit than now, people. And so I wanted to talk about your space here. Yeah, there actually are. There, we actually call it more dog centric rather than just dog friendly. The dogs really are the center of everything we do here at the Honest Kitchen. Um, when you guys decided to make the space, um, obviously for dog and cat food, you. I mean, you automatically thought dogs have to be entered into this office. Absolutely, yeah. They really were an integral part when we were doing all of our space planning. We wanted to have kind of areas where the dogs could feel comfortable. We have, as you can see, dog beds all over the place so the dogs can sit by their owners during the work day. Um, and then a large space over there where we do dog um, yoga classes sometimes. Dog yoga. Yes. Okay, yeah. well this one's almost, are you going to steal the treats, Puff? Look at him. You, yeah, he is very curious. Let's go ahead and get into the kitchen and we can take these two guys with us. Come on, Pup. Um, this is really, really neat too because you guys were voted top place to work in the country by Outside Magazine recently. Right, yeah, we, um, we've actually been in the Outside Magazine best places to work for the last, this will be our fifth year this year. Oh, yes. Wow, and then San Diego Magazine saying best place to work in San Diego as well. So uh, people here must be really happy. Watch out there, bud. Okay, so we're going to let our cameraman in as well. You can come in too, Zach. Not just the dogs. <laughs> and then I want to show how this is made. Um, so if people don't know what the Honest Kitchen is, why did you decide to come up with this? Well, I first came up with the idea for a dehydrated whole food after I'd been feeding my dog a um, homemade raw diet many years ago. Uh, I was trying to address some health issues that he was having, and I ended up actually being able to cure his skin problems and ear infections. But I made a huge mess in my kitchen and as part of the process. Um, um, so that was with um, bowls of bloody meat in the fridge and spinach up the walls. Which and all could be really uncomfortable. And so you decided to dehydrate it. Can we see what this looks like? Dehydrate the food instead. So basically just removing the moisture from all of the um, fresh whole food ingredients. She leaves behind a dry mix. It's sort of like a muesli consistency in its dry form. And you literally just make it like an instant oatmeal. Um, so you hydrate it with warm water. So what's in there? Um, so this is Revel. This is one of our uh, most affordable diets. It's made with free-range chicken from Petaluma Poultry. Um, there's certified organic oats and barley, um, potatoes, carrots, celery, spinach, and kelp. And this will stay for how long? I mean, it's good forever in your it's pantry? 12-month 12 12 shelf life in its dehydrated form. Um, it comes in a 10-pound box or a 4-pound size. Um, the 10-pound box actually is going to make about 40 pounds of fresh food once you hydrate it because it expands when the water's added. So each dry-measured cup of the food will make a pound of fresh food. So some dogs maybe like it a little more runny. Some of them like it a little more consistent. Can we have our taste testers try it out for us? Vary the consistency a little bit. Um, so some of the recipes hydrate more thickly than others. Okay. Um, some have a more soupy consistency, and you can definitely vary the amount of water that you add. Have you made any of these that the dogs didn't like? <laughs> Um, that usually gets sifted out in the um, product development process. We'll okay. often do taste testing. We actually taste everything ourselves as well because the food is human grade. Oh, interesting. Okay, guys, are you hungry? There we go. Do you guys have questions back in the studio? I hear you kind of uh, chime in, no, in there, I so I didn't know I if you had any questions. Place. I love the place. Seen Lucy before. I ate one of her biscuits once because it's all like natural stuff. So when I was at her place, I... Yeah. Yes. Yes. And she started it. out of her home in Pacific Beach, mm -hmm. and they've been here in the East Village for about a year now. And so, uh, and so, yeah, they're, they're kind of expanding. And as you can see, have a lot of space for a lot of people who work here with their dogs to come in and, and do... I love the dog yoga thing. I, I mean, they obviously have the downward dog pose. <laughs> down pat. It was originally supposed to just be a, a human yoga class, but the dogs just can't help themselves from I, joining in. I could imagine. I could yeah. imagine. <laughs> Well, tell her congrats this is on awesome. her success. By the way, it's yes. good to see um, how much she's expanded over the years. That's great. Absolutely. And a local too. company, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love these dogs. Oh, I know. They're so right. beautiful. Thank you, Heather.